Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and I'm hanging out here in my truck in the rain. I thought I would answer the most commonly asked question I get on YouTube, which is how do I go from the navigational display, which looks like this in the bottom right hand corner, to this right here. All the information right at the bottom of the screen, the GPS navigation is still in that bottom right hand corner, but it takes up so much less space and everything is nice and accessible at the bottom. This is my favorite user interface mod. Let's learn how to install it now. Super simple, it's gonna take you two minutes to do. We're gonna go activate the correct, we're gonna go subscribe to the correct mod in Steam, then we're gonna activate it in the game and put it in the right spot in the load order. Behind me, you can see Steam. I'll put a link directly to this mod page in the description, but if you wanna come here and find it and just know how to find them, this is a good thing to learn. Uh, however, before you do this, it's advisable to quit American Truck Simulator because sometimes activating mods and things, it can create issues. So just to be safe, quit American Truck Simulator. Now on the front page of the store page, we need to get to the workshop page for American Truck Simulator. Fastest way I know to do that is to go to library and then it lists all your games here. And I can kind of see it. If it doesn't, you can just type in American and that's going to pretty much pull it up here. American Truck Simulator. So now I'm on the American Truck Simulator page and underneath the green play button, I have to look across here and find the workshop. I don't see it, but that means I have to press on the ellipsis and select workshop. So now I'm in the mod workshop for Steam and I can type in what I want. The mod's name is called the Minimal, uh, minimal Advisor Interface. And I just type in Minimal Advisor should be fine. There we go. Now notice the one's right behind my head here. Sorry about that. There's two of them. What do we do? Well, if you look at this one that's just to the side of my head and read the description, it says minimal advisor interface for ATS and ETS2. This will work in ETS2 as well. Top bar version. If you want the information at the very top of your screen, pick this one. I like it at the bottom, so I'm gonna pick the one that's behind my head here. I'm just gonna click on it and it's gonna load up the page. This has all the information about the mod. And the only thing we really need to do right here is click this green subscribe button. Click. Done. This is going to put the mod right into our American Truck Simulator game. Now let's leave here, go back to the game and activate the mod and put it in the right spot. All right, so now we're back in the game. You want to pick the correct profile because mods are installed by profile. I'm going to go with my main profile, Auxilla Blitz level 27. Then we're going to click the yellow button here to come into the mods page. Now, I've got all of the mods behind my head here that I've got kind of installed in the game right now, but they're not activated. The active mods for this profile on the top right hand side to do this, I wanna scroll down somewhere in here because I subscribe to it should be, and here it is, Minimal Advisor Interface. I'm gonna double click on that to activate it, or I could single click on it and then hit this little arrow and put it over there. And now we'll know the Minimal Advisor Interface for ATS pops up on the top right hand side. The question is, where in this list of mods should it go? So to this, I'm gonna refer us to GMC Logistics Lists of Mod Order. They know more about modding than you or I will ever know in our entire lives. And this is their recommended order. Now I don't have a big list here. I've got uh, basically these top two underneath this are some graphics ones. So if I look at GMC Logistics List, a user interface other mod goes after the graphics. So I'm gonna click down the very bottom of the screen and decrease priority to put it under my after my graphics ones. Extended traffic light timing is kind of an other mod. So it's in the right spot right now. Photo camera no limit is kind of an other mod. And then Sissel's mega pack is an interior mod. So by design, it looks like I'm gonna want that above this. So right now, this is actually a pretty good spot for it. So I'm gonna confirm my changes gonna leave here and if we go back into the game now we should see the user interface mod installed correctly and voila we now have a very slick user interface mod that's so much better than the default version that comes with the game now two bonus things that you might not know about this the f3 key toggles the the display off so if i press it once the gps vanishes if i press it twice the user interface vanishes this is really handy for taking screenshots inside the truck press it again and they both pop back up that's the f3 key now the f2 mirrors are in their default locations but there's extensions mod extension mods for this mod that you can install in addition to this that will move these mirrors around to various locations up to the corners off to the side and a couple of other options too i will put links to those mods in the description down below. You install them exactly the same way so you can definitely do it. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful and wanna see us going for a ride in this Kenworth truck, I'll put a link to our latest career episode, episode 87, where we're driving around Nevada, heading towards Arizona and American Truck Simulator and chatting about all things American Truck Simulator. Thanks for watching everybody, have a great day.